Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the rocks full of brains, a whole selection of asteroids out in the wilds of space where we have a total of nine duplicates trying to make their way into the future as calmly as possible. This swampy little rock here is the one that we are trying to take over at the moment, and it has led to a few troubles. A little bit of stress has been had, but we have got on top of that. Good food is being made. We have good rooms to eat in and we have a honey pot to sit next to so everything seems to be getting a little bit more in hand here you can see that the stress does go up and down but we're talking small numbers so i feel like we can start moving on with further infrastructure and the one thing that i really want to get going on today is to tame this natural gas geyser over here you can see i'm starting to figure out where we're going to end up putting these natural gas guys uh, natural gas generators sorry over this side we need need something like four of them we might need even need a few more there. Uh, we're going to want to line down here. We want to uh, enable liquids and gases to pass through because of course these generators, they produce polluted oxygen. They also produce a bit of carbon dioxide. Two things that we know how to deal with literally by just pumping this stuff out to a, uh, a recycling centre. We can make this work. Is that going to be hot down there? No. It's cold. I'm fine with that. I can live with cold. Um, and I'm not sure whether I want to deal with my carbon on site or not or whether it's something that I want to ship out somewhere else. Uh, something else that I need to do, we need to replace this door with a pneumatic door. We're starting to equalize the pressures across this entire place here, but we're still getting three or four kilograms of oxygen around. That's quite heavy. But beyond this door, there's an 18 kilograms. That is that is beyond quite heavy. But we've got this pug slug that we need to worry about. So I'm not sure entirely how we're going to do that. It might even end up being from the other side. Yeah, maybe. Or perhaps even through here. I'm a little bit worried about setting these, uh, setting the water flowing. That That is my big concern. Polluted dirt will hold, but polluted mud will fall. I think, I think we can dig through here. Let, let's dig through here. We're going to dig a little gap through like this. Maybe get ourselves a little bit of a ladder way going across the top like so. And then if we can dig to the other side of this door here, this should then connect the two areas up. And uh, maybe a little bit of gas pressure equalization can happen. Unfortunately, I do not have an overlay that shows us gas pressure. Um, I, I, I think there's a mod. There might be a mod, but it's not one that I've installed. Okay, very helpfully, curly has gone round to the other side. That's totally not what I wanted. This pressure difference is a big problem, and she's already having a lot of stress issues. Uh, as you can see, 63% per cycle, two cycles, and she is going to be topping out. Low morale. Uh, oh, missed, missed the thing I'm looking at. Low morale, sopping wet, popped eardrum, center of attention at least is going for her there, but oh, that, that's that's pretty bad. I mean, what's going to happen here? We've got one point something kilograms. Where, where's the 12 kilograms? that we were just looking at. Uh, there's five. Oh man, it's, it's a lot down here. And now we've got to try and clear up this water so that it can flow correctly. Maybe, maybe the water was pushing all the pressure down here. That, that could happen where it gets caught in a little area like this and pushes it all the way down. I mean, we've got five kilograms down there. I, th I think this carbon dioxide... Oh, it's, it's gone. I was going to say, I think this carbon dioxide is stopping the pressure equalizing, but uh, I, I feel like that's now not a problem. Goddard is doing a stellar job down here trying to clean up all the liquids. Not doing him the world of good given the overpressurization status down here, but uh, it, it's helping. It is all helping. I did, however, hear this click tick off in the background. Uh, I don't think I want any of these people, but these curative tablets, that sounds like something that will help these people over here. Yeah, mu must do. We're <laughs> not got the most hygienic of environments, so hopefully this will help a lot. Talking of hygiene, I am trying to actually get these la lavatories actually hooked up and ready ready to go here. We're going to have to start thinking about what will happen with a little bit of the overflow from this because of course this liquid uh, will go up, get clean, drop back down. But every time it goes through a loop, the uh, duplicates will be adding just a little bit more liquid to it. So we'll end up filling this system up and then we need to figure out how we're going to disinfect the liquids, make it safe to drink again, maybe keep some uh, some paku in it. That, that could be a winner. I mean, at the same time, we could just feed the puffs. They, they, they like polluted oxygen. We could spread the polluted water out on the floor. Yeah, I mean, that that's also a winner. Why are these guys not... 
We're out of slime. I um, I disagree. I bet it's because no one's come to do the work. One thing we're going to need if we are to get the power station up and running over here is a little bit of cooling. And to get the cooling up and running, don't worry about the zero calories. It's because I was trying to put it all in this, this machine over here. Uh, to get the cooling up and running, we're going to need to send some steel over. And uh, everybody, everybody's on that. So, so great. So where our power isn't the most consistent in the world, this beacon keeps being turned on and off, which means occasionally the uh, the shots are off of target now mostly it's just sand but like this one it's got food in it we, we, we really need to go and get that I don't know what this one is this is a uh, steel we need to go and get that so I've set up a whole bunch of routes here for Curie to go along and build but obviously it's vacuum there's there's nothing to breathe up there so she needs to come running down here to breathe this little nugget of polluted oxygen okay that's interesting I'm uh, often surprised that she doesn't try to breathe like this stuff over here I suppose it is micro Grams, but I, I've seen them survive on less. I've got a feeling by the end of this process, uh, Curie's going to get locked up in the rocket again. I mean, you've got to learn to control yourself, Curie. I, I know it's my fault for overpressuring you, but you, you've you got to learn to control. Also, prob problem here. Let's put that ladder back in place. That, that would probably save a lot of troubles, actually. <laughs> I mean, duplicates stressed from going out inside the vacuum so much. I mean, why don't you make them run all the way around the outside instead of taking the very easy, accessible door? Where is she going now? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I'm all right with her just to do it, though. Let's have a look at the stress. Yeah, pro problems there. Popped eardrums, sopping wet. There's there's not much you can do against those two. That's 40% increase just off the, on their own. Okay, we've got access to the various payloads now. We just need to wait for, I mean, all of this to get cleaned up, but uh, also for people to come along and open these packs. I'd, I'd really like access to that steel. It's uh, it, it's one of the things that we're missing. Can I, can I put it up on the on the background here? That, that'd be nice. Yeah, look, we, we need 1,200. We've got, well, I mean, we're about halfway. Okay, so get, after getting rid of sopping wet and whichever the other one was, I can't remember now off the top of my head. I uh, popped eardrums, sorry. The high morale and the uh, pleasant chit chat and all of that is uh, making Curie pr pretty chill, pretty chill. Let let's hope that this continues on. The big thing, the big thing is that good meal. If she eats some cooked cooked seafood she gets the good meal bonus at the top of her morale if she eats something like the uh, the fried mushrooms uh, then suddenly not that is a raw paku fillet why are you eating a raw paku fillet that is a problem okay so let's go up to to curie here uh, and let's let's find her on the list i don't think i want anybody eating raw paku fillet so there's the meat that's that's uh, okay i mean it's quite high up on the on the list Let, let's go back up here uh it's a plus four morale that's i mean it's not not terrible but it's not yeah plus four standard meal plus four okay so i've got a morale of 18 out of 16 that gives me a high morale bonus to my stress okay that, that's fine that's fine we can live with those I suppose if all else fails, we can make the Thermo Aqua Tuna out of gold amal amalgam. That gives us 125 overheat temperature. We could run the system at 120, I think. That might work. Okay, we've got ourselves an archway over here. Ideally, I'm looking for a new farmer for Bogolia, uh, not Bogolia, Pyaxlin, because they seem to be uh, falling a little bit behind. If we if we pop over here, uh, there, there's stuff waiting for harvest. People aren't harvesting. People aren't cooking. There, there's a whole bunch of stuff that means that people are being a little bit overstressed over that side. But uh, I mean, I'm I'm concentrating on Bogolia, so uh, that that's just gonna have to wait. If it if a, if a good duplicate pops up, I'll grab them. But until such times, we're we're watching Curie here, uh, mainly because we need to we need to dig our way down here and get started with this. I'm thinking we're going to drop these uh, Paku down in this direction. If I kind of dig like this, excuse me, sir, how dare you? Uh, li like that should drain them all out. So uh, let, let's let's run down with some more ladders. And no, I don't. I don't know why I'm keeping with this weird zigzag pattern, but uh, but I am. Talking of people keeping to weird patterns, I would like to take this moment right here and thank my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. These are the generous people that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and said that yes. I would like to donate some money to make sure that him and his shenanigans can carry on into the future without having to worry about such petty things as where the electricity from the wires is going to be paid from. And due to that, I 
really do believe it is the smallest thing that I can do to just take a little bit of time out of one of my videos and say thank you so much guys, it really does. Your support means so much to me, each and every time, thank you. Okay, I'm asking them to clear up the entire run between here and there. Curie's gonna go for a little trip, it turns out. I just noticed the stress has been building up. Let's just change that to crew for now, and we will uh, leave Goddard to do it on his own until Curie's uh, had had herself some fun times uh, in in um in the Happy Fun Box campsite. Yes, yes. <laughs> For those of you unsure about what's going on right now, Curie has maxed out her stress level, which means that she likes to go around and binge eat. Now, at this point in a new colony where we've got very little food to be getting by, well, to be fair, 39,000 calories is quite a bit, but as we've got relatively few calories to be getting by, uh, I don't like to let... Curie run amok across the base when she's feeling like this. Uh, so when she finishes her stress response and drops back down to 60, I will let her back outside. But at the moment, she can stay in here specifically where there is no food. There's, there's no food in the fridge, so she can't just eat it all. Turns out she eats her nails uh, and then goes to the toilet a lot. I don't know whether she's like actively feeding stuff or... Yeah, I'm not sure what, what's going on. But, yeah, look at that. Her calories are dropping fast. I've never stopped and watched her do this. Her bladder has is also filling up relatively quick. She's got a small bladder. That, that probably doesn't help. Yeah, there we go. It just jumped up again when she did her little stress response. Okay. Of course, at some point, we are going to have to send her outside to go, to go get food. Uh, but she's dropped down from 100% uh, stress to 60%. So I'm coming back outside and letting her back out okay i mean like it's not the best way to deal with duplicates that have got uh, a stress response obviously the ideal uh, situation is to remove the source of stress but she's how main she's our main digger and uh, builder so she needs to go to the places with the over pressurized and the, the the lots of liquid because she's the person who fixes it all so there's a, a bit of a problem there what I actually need is a much less trained person. So someone who's only got minimal levels in. Let's let's find Curie here. Where is she? Uh, so you can see she's got lots of digging, a bit of construction, but then all this carrying. She can build mechatronic stuff. I mean that's very important for a more filled out. Um, colony for one that's just starting we could probably just get away with one improved uh, carrying and then hard digging and construction and then she could save half of her, her morale um that's not what we're doing though we've sent our highest qualified person out and uh we're paying the price for it how'd she have pop tier drums where where where's the overpressurized area must be a hangover from last time Okay, the fact that she just fully submersed herself in water to go and get that. She's now sopping wet. We should probably at some point think about putting a shower in somewhere. That that would probably help a lot. I'm going to unselect any uncooked food. We, we don't want the uncooked food in the uh, in the refrigerator. That needs to be downstairs and uh, we'll, we'll figure out a way to select that down below in a second. So we've got more than enough steel inside the interplanetary launcher on Pyaxlin to be sent across. And we're still just waiting for the Red Bolt generator. But we've been having some power... Oh man, we've been having some more than power issues over here, it turns out. That is something that I need to address straight away. What? Why is this hot? How do we get this not hot? Okay, we have no builders here. Uh, let's leave this unconnected. So uh, the only way to actually make sure this gets done is going to be quite brutal, if I'm to be honest. But let's, let's let them at it, and hopefully these will get built incredibly quickly. We're using lead for the radiant pipe. Uh, hopefully there's enough just laying around that that's easy peasy. Let's have a look down here and see how our critter ranches are holding up. I had to put a carbon skimmer in because we were starting to overtop with carbon dioxide. I'm starting to think that might not have been enough. Hmm. Hopefully we'll get some sort of runaway effect soon where all of these uh, slicksters in the incubators will start eating more carbon dioxide because these slicksters eat something. Thank you very much for doing that by the way. Duplicates. Uh, all these slicksters eat something like, let's have a look, 20 kilograms per cycle. How much does this make? Half a kilogram a second. Mmm, 
okay, I see a small mismatch there. 600 seconds, so that's 300 kilograms a day if it's running full out. So 600 across the two. I mean, there's more for the coal, for coal generators, but it's, it's 20 grams per second, not half a kilogram, so we'll, we'll be fine. Uh, seven in each because of weird little out, out crops. They eat 20 kilograms a cycle. So 21 times, so 21 slicksters times 20 is 420, all right? Uh, that's how many kilograms they can eat per day. Uh, and this is 600, ah, okay. So the, yeah, there, there we go. We, we are uh, at an excess of 200 kilograms per day plus the coal generators. Now there are a few extra slicksters around, but uh, it's not quite the same as this. Oh, we can totally fit another one in. Let, let, let's do it, let's do it. Let's put a steel one before all the steel disappears. Uh, the pipes are like pretty much already hooked up. That's nice and simple. The power also needs to just jump across fairly simply. Uh, lead, that's fine, I think, until it's not. Uh, and this controls the water flow. Okay, that, that should be fine. Oh yeah, we get 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 this little bypass up and running now and get some cold going through this area around here okay that that's nice we could do with some more water in the system at some point but we'll we'll figure that out okay this appears to be a bit of a time bomb ticking over here i noticed that like we're, we're running a little little behind on our petroleum production here things are are hot and building up actually now now we're back down to 3.8 kilos instead of four so that that's pretty good so things i mean they are working and when this gets built it'll be working a lot better let's uh let's put that at full panic because there's no builders here uh so this should be working out okay let's uh let's leave them to be doing their thing here and go say what's going on oh with curie are you doing okay we should be just clearing up you won't let me select I, I don't know why it does that if you if you go across using the uh the yellow alert feature here i won't now be able to select this liquid bridge i have to select something else before selecting the liquid bridge and the same if i come over using the high stress uh, i wonder if that i maybe should put a bug report in I, I bet that's a real niche thing that only i've, I've noticed talking of niche things let's have a look for the blueprint pufflet probably our best option yeah no farming okay pufflet go we're getting, we're getting quite the little puff selection up this is this is nice lots of lots of slime not that anybody can do any work farming we need we need farmers Oh, brine ice. Eek, gads. Uh, no. Don't put liquefiable stuff in the dropper. That's that's why all this water's here. Okay, now that I've done that, is it just going to complain? That's not the best place to drop it, but it's fine. We'll, we'll live with it. Okay, something that I should have done a while ago. I've changed all the store... Um, I've changed all the store priorities to number four, at least the one on this one. So the other jobs get done first. It was up at nine because I was like, we need to tidy, but we don't need to tidy that importantly anymore. It's it's now all about trying to trying to just keep keep the base running. Okay, I've been patiently waiting here, wondering where all my uh, steel is, and it turns out actually it's all here already. We j we just have people concentrating on the wrong things so let's change people's priorities just a little bit here just so just so we can get things up and running now that the uh, payload em uh, emptier has got a little bit of power Goddard should be going around and collecting up all these little packages i wonder whether that one that had all the food in it yeah has started rotting out yet it definitely has well we're, we're going full ham now oh look this this is going to be a problem i think i might actually need to completely just like rip this whole patch of ice down at some point uh maybe not maybe not the granite maybe not the granite i like to leave as much rock as possible at the top so that we uh end up not having to deal so much with direct radiation look look here where it's just one tile Pew! big old streak of mostly uh harmless radiation but it's it's still something to worry about okay yes much better we're, we're gonna have a whole bunch of steel tomorrow morning to make what we need Great. Right. 
Okay, to be building this power plant, we are going to have a few issues that we need to problem solve our way around. One of which, of course, is the fact that we've got all of this natural gas already in this chamber. We need to be able to make our way through that without releasing it into the base at large. This is why Curie has been given such a very uh, uh, restricted dig order here. So she can come along and build this tile before she can open up to the, to the, the, the base at large, as I was saying. We can corner build through a couple of blocks, so this should make things very very safe Let, let's just watch her actually do that okay and when, once she's got that built i just come along and build, take out a few more tiles like so we're gonna make our way across the top like that where where is kiri going hey what, what's going on there's there's not reed fiber is kind of important but you know what there are much more important things on the go at the moment you might think food is or one of them indeed we've got some bog jelly uh sat inside here waiting to be uh cooked Goddard, what, what are you what are you what are you doing over here you're supposed to be yes dealing with power and with food okay that that's good you might think as I was saying that we are running out of food but we've got a whole bunch of this swamp charge just kicking about there was like a few down here there's some over this way uh, so this should be able to see us through the rather treacherous process of building our power plant. Of course, one of the other things I'm going to need to do is to create a vacuum over here. I've realized that actually if I'm going to do that, I could do it much, much lower down. If we're coming to the power steam turbine made out of steel, thank you very much. Uh, that one right there, I think, will be where we want it. A bunch of set, um, insulated tiles around the side. There we go. Then all we need to do is put a single layer of polluted water and salt water. We've got, we've got salt water kicking around that I don't know what to do with. So we'll put it in here. That will fill up uh, in here. That will fill up the two spaces, leaving no room for for gases, I hope. The two layers, sorry, not two spaces. That's, that's not very descriptive, is it? Oh yes, during this very careful digging process, we're also going to be trying to get ourselves a farming duplicate. No, none here. We will take this sand though. Sand, very important for this area. It's what we run our deodorizers, our water sieves on. We're going to need another water sieve down here to deal with some of the water. I've just noticed that this is a little bit incomplete down here. Let's uh, let's get the oxygen. We're going to need a carbon scrubber down here to, to, to turn this over nicely. Make sure all the carbon dioxide that the natural gas generators produced can actually be cleaned up uh has this been built yet not yet but we can we can start digging more tiles through uh curie is going to want to dig those before anything else because of course i have given her higher orders for digging than literally anything else that she can do because and generally, when I want to dig a tunnel, I, I think that's more important than the building process. But maybe that's not true now. Okay, when we let loose this little bubble of carbon dioxide, yeah, are we going to have a whole bunch of liquids flow three as well? I'm kind of okay with that because they're all going to end up down here. But it does mean that Curie is going to have, I mean, popped eardrums is bad. And also now soggy feet just about to become sopping wet. Uh, the, the, oh, whoa, 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 problem. Okay, stop. Priorities, Curie. Uh, re reverse these orders. And then more importantly, this tile right here needs to be the highest priority. Curie number one. We're just going to move her. So suddenly, I've, I've decided this is much more important because I don't want that natural gas to escape. Well, there's already a little bit come out. Move and do your thing, please. Curie quickly before all the water disappears. That would be very good. I'm not that bothered by the water being inside. Wait, yeah, okay, I'll let this off for now. I'd much rather you just went ahead and did the thing, but it looks like the water is actually holding the gases back for now. I'm, I'm really worried. If you could just put that tile in place, I'd be much happier. Thank you. Okay, definitely a few little oversights there that need to be managed, but I think I think we did okay. Just to lose that one tiny blob of natural gas there. This is highly pressurized now. I don't know how we're going to get to that gas pump Th through the water. Obviously, we'll we'll build a little little water lock. Okay, yeah, that's 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 relatively easy. Of all the things I have to deal with, that that's not the biggest. Well, we've had to lock up Curie again for the morning, but I'm, I'm sure she'll be fine. She's using that toilet a lot. Thankfully, getting rid of a lot of her rads, I believe. Is she or is she not? Is that going up or down? I mean, we keep getting tooltips saying she's she's dropping rads, but actually her rads are just going up. All right, that, that, that's not the biggest problem. Look, cleansing rads, uh, it's, that's not... It's not actually happening though. You're, you're lying to me, game. You're lying to me. But we're down to 60%, so we can let her back out of the gulag. The, the rocket. It's not a gulag. Honestly. Honestly. The interior. I mean, hopefully she's just off to eat now. Like, that, that should just be a normal food. 
Okay, next attempt at a printer. Where's the new printers available? Okay, it's taken us over. That's that's not where I wanted to be. I wanted to have a look over here. Do we have a farmer or food? Lava, grub fruit preserve? No farmer. I will, I will take this one. It's only 4,000 calories, but it's a good start, I suppose. Okay, we've taken some time about it, but we are ready to let loose the water from up here. We've got a one, two, three, four, five tiles to cover. One, two, three, four, five tiles. So it should work out perfectly well for us. Now, of course, there will be some losses to, like, what I'm going to call surface tension, where it just kind of stays on top of one of the blocks here. But that should be fine. Already, already, we have pushed out. Let's look at the gas here. All the gases from this bottom layer. Uh, now what we need to do is come along to the liquids. I would like a bunch of brine. And if you could do that really high priority. I don't know if anybody... Let, let's go really high priority and get people on it right away. So that we can watch the two layers of liquid go down. I mean, I already feel like this is <laughs> slightly too much liquids. But we need the, the second type of liquid so that when we put this on here i've just noticed there's nowhere for the this this gas to escape to uh we can change that though we can definitely change that let's turn this off of a, a high priority like that uh we're gonna need to tell curie that we really want this to be busted out uh and she also brought a little bit more for us okay that's that's pretty cool ah the brine is just kind of hanging out in one corner that's interesting not exactly what i would like and all talking of i'm just about to drop a whole bunch of stuff into here okay that that's fine let's get the brine moving again and let's get some of these materials moving from here what, what have we dropped here is it just sedimentary rock let's get to the raw mineral sedimentary rock uh move here please uh, and if we put it on sweep only it'll only be the stuff that we've got selected over there great right well we still need more brine who's moving brine goddard is moving brine okay as soon as this this makes up two layers uh, i'm gonna show you let's let's see where goddard is we turn that off okay that's good and if we click over here aaron's goddard he should be yeah just just on the way we, we had a whole bunch of brine spill at the top here so that should work out well what why we couldn't have got some of the stuff from here I'll, i've never known Okay, is this going to be enough? I don't know. I was kind of expecting the two layers to sit on top of one another, not just kind of form this third extra layer. Mm. I, I wonder if this is actually something we need to, like, maybe move the bottle emptier over this side and go in from both sides. I'm, I'm just going to carry on pumping in for the moment. Uh, let, let's see where else we've got brine. Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of brine. And because there's no more sweep orders, I think, maybe we're going to be picking these up from here. Yeah, that, that would be nice. Ah, oh, finally, the farmer that we have been after. We would have been forced in a name if it was that person over there but i think over here we're gonna have a levitt henrietta swan discovered cepheid va uh, variables these are stars that pulse with a uh, certain brightness with the, the the certain rate and you can use that to figure out how far they far away they are i mean do you know how hard it is to just look out in the night sky and know how far away a star is this girl made it possible so let's welcome her and um force her to just do farming for the rest of her life yes indeed that's that's what we're going with here uh let, let's come in and go like farming we want that turned right up and then supplying is the secondary one because those are the two things that she likes to do we come down uh improved farming bam let, let's do that we could also make her a cook but i think we're just gonna hold on to that for now and now we find out whether we sink or swim. Is, it, is this a great idea or a terrible idea? Is the fact that we've got someone here to look after our food for us actually going to mean that we actually have some food to feed our peoples? I, I sure do hope so because we've got a long way to go on this build yet. Well, it's not too far, but there are some problems to be solved yet. I mean, at the end of the first day, other than the fact that Curie is slowly going insane again because her, her stress is so fragile, if she has a low morale, it's just all over. Uh, but I think the amount of food we're getting from uh, Levitt being here is, is definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Turning over a whole bunch of dust caps here. Do worry what's going to happen if we run out of the slime on the floor, but that, that shouldn't happen, right? We, we never run out of natural resources. Okay, the pouring didn't look like it was going to work, so I've decided to go for a different route. We're going to drop some brine ice down the middle here, and hopefully the surrounding hot environment will melt it pretty quick. Let's see if we can select it. There it is, priorities. Uh, melting point. Oh, no, that's not what we want. The temperature. Yeah, this they, they should be now pretty warm, right? Why, why is it not? Have we, have we managed to super chill it somehow? Oh, let's turn that off. We're starting to cycle around. That's not what we need. 
Okay, there's polluted ice on the floor. Let's try and get that picked up. I suppose it doesn't really matter if that does actually just get uh, left there. Uh, I do enjoy the fact that we picked the gold amalgam up, though. That, that's pretty good. Okay, let's make it sweep only. See if that's going to help any of the orders here. Oh, oh, yeah, no, we've done it. We've done it. Okay, now we cancel this. And hopefully that now just leaves everything underneath. Okay, cool. Yeah, very good. Should definitely have melted by now, though. Should definitely have melted. About a degree. Oh, no, we've got three degrees of uh, a bounce space, right? So it doesn't melt and then immediately cools the area to cool down, which then makes it freeze again. Uh, yeah, you could get into serious troubles if you used an exact number. So they, they've said three degrees either side. I, I think it's a good system. I think it's a good system. Okay, I believe the next point one degree will be three degrees out from its melting point. The uh, quick save coming along. Boom. Okay, that's is that is that exactly what we want? That is exactly what we want. Okay, it took a while, but we got here. Let's fill in all of these. Uh, breaks here. I think that's all we need. I'm going to just quickly trace out the systems and make sure there's nothing I've forgotten. There's a little bit of gold amalgam in there. Nearly a ton. Let's see if we can't get Curie to get that out of there before she finishes sealing this area up. That 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 would be handy if she could. Okay, I think, I think that's it happening. Alright, good. Good. Good work. I like that a lot. Okay, it was a bit of a pain, but we've managed to see it all up. I love it. That's, that's great. Of course, always at least one thing I've forgotten. I thought I'd double-checked everything, but of course we need an outlet for our steam turbine that we don't have enough steel for. What is this? Ah, oh, no, we need to... Okay, we need, we need to send some more over, which honestly should be happening. What's going on over here? Uh, we seem to be okay... Ah, we have a shell over here that is full of steel. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so the system is still turning over. It's just taking a while. Through a series of carefully choreographed alarms, I am making my way down this little slope here, trying to fill in these tiles every step along the way so that we can end up going down and underneath. I've got a feeling I'm not actually going to need those tiles in the end. I was trying to rough out an idea of what I was going to do, but we need we need to make this sealed and tight, and then I need to be able to duck under this singular tile here. Maybe I'll put a, uh, a small wall right here like this, and then we can let a little bit of the water flow up and back uh, and then maybe something like this I think that's a good airlock yes now what we need to do is just make sure that Curie comes along to do the dig and the build uh, in, in any order she wants to as long as it is this one then that one uh, oh we've we got more stuff going on down here okay fair enough I wonder who's got this one covered let it Oh, 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 well, I just watched Kiri do a weird little dance. I think this means that she needs to be gone for a little bit. I mean, to be fair, they're pushing them pretty hard. I can understand. Okay, with the majority of the infrastructure in place, it's probably time to crack this one open. I'm hoping that the gases don't do that. Uh, but here we are in this new and brand... Uh, wonderful future? I don't know. It's a bit of a terrible future, actually, if I'm to be honest with you. That's not the one with, I wanted to live in, but it's the one that we have found ourselves in. Uh, but it does mean that we can start moving some gases around. I suppose we're just going to take some of the uh, wrong element damage on the chin. Might be the best way just to deal with it. Uh, okay, well, Curie wants to go through and do the walls first. I suppose they are the higher priority. Fair enough. So I've nearly got all the infrastructure in place, but we need to get a few of these wires running together, maybe get some power down to the pump and the carbon skimmer, but I pretty much ran out of uh, refined materials. So if I hit this and go click, uh, you can see I've got some steel, I've got some tungsten, neither of which I really want to use just on wiring. So I've got Curie digging down here to where there is some gold just kicking around. I mean, that's not, look at this, eight, that's ne nearly ton on each tile. I, I'm, I'm kind of loving that. There's some actual gold in here as well. I think I feel like we could just dig this out and, and let it spew out. Maybe even drop some water on it from elsewhere. And it like gold doesn't store a lot of heat. It's it's coming out fairly hot, like 2,000 degrees. But gold itself, let's have a look, has a heat capacity of like very small amounts per per gram. Like it can take store very small uh, as opposed to let's have a look at the let's go for polluted water here. Um,
There's a specific heat capacity of four, as opposed to, what did we see on the other one? Point one, I think it was, yeah. So I'd be very surprised if the even 2,000 degree gold that's coming out of here would actually warm this base up very much. And also, there's a lot of cold stuff around. I, I might do it. I might just do it. I mean, really, what, what could go wrong from this? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, we've got some water in there. We're getting a load of ladders. All Kiri, why did you go in the water? You don't like going in the water. It's one thing that I, I kind of disagree with the duplicates' behaviour is they will willingly put themselves in stressful situations, even though, like, I don't know about you, but I, I try to avoid stressful situations if I at all can. Gonna hit the analyze, even though no one's around to do so. Look at all this gold we're picking up. Beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave Curie there, putting that down. Come over to conductive wire B. Look at, look at all this gold. We could just kind of run them together now. No. Nice. Okay, like that. That's that's a little power system right there. Oh, I can't reach that one. I can't reach that one. That's not very nice. Okay. Okay, that's all the materials out of there. At some point, this is going to erupt again. 34 seconds every 800 seconds. So that's uh, once every day and a half. Okay. Oh, it appears to be winding up. This is good. I want to see what happens. I really want to see what happens. We're going to get a little burst of steam, I'm fairly sure. Also, I'm making a steam turbine out of gold. I, I, I think this will be fine. Uh, nothing happened. Did not... Did nothing happen? Oh, we got... Is that some gold right there? Yeah, we have got some gold. It's cooling down really quickly. Look at that. Okay. So, we... That, yeah, as suspected... The, this area is just its just too cold for it, and we're just condensing gold with the natural environment. Okay, that, this is going to be a problem eventually, but right now it's not. <laughs> We've got duplicates pulling gold fresh out of the volcano just to make sure we get these last few radiant pipes in place. Is that the only thing that's holding us back right now? Well, I say that's the only thing. We need to put some of this liquid from down here into the coolant loop. That should be nice and easy to do. And we also need someone to come along and kickstart the system. Provide a little bit of power, get this pump turning so that we can get the gas over to the generators. I also need to figure out where the carbon dioxide's going. I mean, if I wanted to be lazy about it, we just pop it up here and let it fall down. But I think what I want to actually do is put a vent down here somewhere right next to the carbon skimmer. But for now, this will do as we are just trying to get the system up and running. Are these all of the pipes? Well, no, because the yellow alert will end. I wanted to make sure everybody got in and on this. You know what? I think I might even turn up the priority. I hit the wrong button. Turn up the priority here. Uh, see if, yeah, Goddard is going to be on this next. How about if we move Goddard? Excuse me. Can you can you just kind of run down here? And we'll, we'll see if that's his next next idea. It, lo it looks like it should be. It looks like that that is the way the priorities are working. Alright, beautiful. I just want to see some of this gas get picked up and moved uh, across. Of course, we do have... Oh, wrong button. We do have a few nasty gases to worry about. That was a very small pump, but I, I guess we'll take it. Okay, we're going to get a little bit more going, and every time that we move a little bit more, uh, it will be making a delivery of the gas to the to the generators and that should be providing just a little bit of power via the wonder of the heavy watt wire to the batteries which then feed back and we should just keep going uh getting this liquid pipe up and running does seem to be a bit of a power drain though i'm i'm okay with that i'm okay ah are we gonna have to wait till tomorrow it looks like we might that's that's unfortunate that's very unfortunate I mean, there does appear to be just a little bit of a feedback loop start. We, that might have been enough. That might have been enough. I didn't think it was going to be, but look, there we go. Just a little bit more whilst these guys are producing just a little... And it's, and it's more. It's actually the little bit more that we're after. Not, not impressed with that little nugget of polluted oxygen there. We're just going to have to wait for it to go. If we're lucky, the carbon dioxide will never get picked up. Wrong element damage. It's just gold amalgam. That's, that's fine. That's not the end of the world. But I think with that, I am going to say thank you very much much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen the power facility is up and running the only thing i need to do now is to take this uh, um this heavy watt power spline and run it over towards my main base so we can start breaking off some of the power systems over there but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye
this poor generator seems to be the one that's taking it every time. 